Hey guys, it's Flatpak Effects here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this right on effect. So the first thing I want to do is right click and create a new composition. You can give this one a name and set it to 1920 by 1080, 30 frames a second, and set it to be about three seconds in length and hit OK. Now, just before we move on guys, if you're struggling with After Effects or you find tutorials difficult to follow, I'm currently running an After Effects beginner course and I'll put links to that in the description below. Now, if you're new to this channel, I also make weekly tips and tricks videos just like this one. So if you're new here, maybe consider subscribing. Now, if you prefer to use a brush stroke, I'm going to show you how to use a brush stroke effect to actually create this effect in the first part. And for the second part, I'm going to show you how to do this using the preferred option that I like to use. So back in After Effects, what I want to do is I've imported this image here and I'm just going to drag this straight onto my background. And then I'm simply just going to scale this down and then move it up. Now you can use whatever image you like here. This is just one that I found online. And I'm also just going to right click and create a new black solid here. And I'm going to turn this down to be about 20%. Now the next part of this is we actually want to add our text. Now for the font, I'm actually using a custom font that I found online and I'll link to that in the description below. So what I want to do is just right click and create a new text layer. Now you can type out whatever text you like here and then you can come over here and adjust the size depending on the look that you're going for. Now the first way we can actually make this effect is by using a plugin that's already built into After Effects called Right On. So what I actually do is I select that text, come up to effect down to generate and I can add it to that layer. Now the way this actually works is you come down here and actually reveal the original image. And if I scale this up, you can see as I move this, it kind of acts like a brush. Now the idea here is that you just create a series of keyframes and then you keep moving that brush to actually reveal that layer. So if I started here, I could just create one keyframe for my brush position, and then I could move along a frame and then drag this up. And you can see as I do this, it's actually revealing the text as I move it along. So we're almost using a brush stroke to actually reveal our original text. Now for some of you, this may be the preferred option, but I'm gonna show you a way that I actually think is a little bit quicker and easier to do. So I'm just going to delete that. And the next part is I want to select my pen tool. And with that layer selected, what we're going to do is actually just start by drawing a mask that runs over the middle. So we're just drawing a really rough mask here. Something that looks like this. So I'm just trying to connect this all through one mask as I move through, and I'm trying to also keep it in the dead center of where I'm working. Now it's okay to also overlap as we come back. The key here is to trace over the center of all of this text. So as I'm moving through, I'm moving through like this. Now it looks a little rough at this stage, but that's okay because when we actually add the stroke effect over the top, we're gonna to soften this whole effect out and it's just going to lead to a really nice continuous reveal. So the next part is with that layer selected, I'm going to come up to effect down to generate and I want to select the stroke layer. Now the first thing I actually want to do is scale this all the way up so that it covers those letters. Now I could just go through and adjust any of this where it's not fully covered up my letters. So that looks pretty good where it is. And then I want to actually set this to be reveal original image. I'm also going to drag the spacing down to zero and the hardness I'm going to drag up to around 85%, but that depends on the actual look that you're going for. Now with my playhead here back at the start, we're going to create a keyframe and actually animate that over a few seconds. So I'm just going to create a keyframe for my end position and drag this all the way back to zero. Then I'm going to move along in my timeline here about two seconds and just drag this all the way up to 100. Now as I actually play through, you can see that we already have our finished effect. Now you can always adjust the speed by dragging that end keyframe in or out. 
And I can also come down here and just add a very slight scale at the beginning and then at the end, I'm just going to drag this up very slightly. So now when I play through, you can see we now have our finished effect. So that's how you create this effect. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You can also check out more After Effects tutorials over at flatpackeffects.com. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.